Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Wang and I just wing it. And today's video, I am excited to show you my new favorite lens for traveling. I believe this is the best lens for traveling and here's why. Introducing the Sigma 18 to 50 millimeter f 2.8. This is a new zoom lens from Sigma for APS-C size sensor or E-mount Sony bodies. And of course, you can use this also on a full frame E-mount Sony bodies. Just considering that it has a 1.5 crap factor on your sensor, or if you want to use it on a Super 35 mode on your full frame camera such as the a7c now if you compare this field of view in a full frame glass this will be equivalent on a 28 to 75 millimeter f 2.8 full frame glass such as the tamron 28 to 75 millimeter and its counterparts 24 to 70 millimeter f 2.8 sigma and this makes this zoom lens very versatile because it will cover your wide and medium range it has a constant aperture of f 2.8 which is really good in low light and it will give you that nice background blur now this lens really shine when it comes to its size as you can see here the big size difference this is so tiny compared to this one. Now this lens, the Sigma 24-70 f2.8 art series, uh, this is my favorite lens when it comes to filmmaking. This mostly sits on my full frame camera, which is the a7C. But when it comes to traveling, this lens becomes my least favorite to bring because of its size and weight. And when you're trying to maintain a low profile, this one sticks out like a sore thumb. Now this is where this lens comes in. This will replace my 24 to 70 Sigma Art Series lens. And I really love the size and weight of this lens. This will give me a low profile while filming on public places. And I really think that this lens is really good to travel with. It is a zoom lens, so you have a variable um, focal length or field of view. And this is really good when you don't really want to keep changing your lens all the time when you are running and gunning and also if you don't want to carry a heavy gear with you now this lens is priced at 549 us dollars and for that price this lens has a lot to offer and this is priced significantly less compared to its competition or its counterpart, which is the most obvious, is the Sony 16 to 55 millimeter f 2.8 G lens, and that lens is priced at a whopping 1,399 US dollars, which makes this just a fraction of its cost. And yes, the Sony has a two millimeter difference at its widest because it starts at 16 instead of 18 and it has a 5 millimeter difference at its telephoto reach because it ends with 55 millimeter instead of 50 millimeter on this sigma lens now if you ask yourself is it really worth it with that price difference so anyways here is the video that i took during my travel to reno nevada using this lens and just to show you what quality of video that you can capture using this lens I forget the time and I don't know their names but I still hear you laughing like you do in the middle of a crowded place never missed a moment but if memory slips away as long as it was me and you I don't care if the rest of it fades Tomorrow may get lost, but I'll be there with you The universe on pause As long as I'm with you
notice about this lens is not as sharp or as fast comparing to the Sigma primes which is or they call it the Sigma 1.4 trio primes uh, this one only goes down up to 2.8 but this lens does complement to those prime lenses if you have them the 16 millimeter f 1.4 30 millimeter f 1.4 and 56 millimeter f 1.4 prime lenses and also this lens is not really great for blogging at arm's length i find it very tight for me but it's up to you you can still vlog but for me it's not really that great it's not wide enough for me and also this lens doesn't have any optical image stabilization so if you are filming with a camera that doesn't have any ibis then you might want to consider it putting it on a tripod or a gimbal and that's the only drawback that i find on this lens otherwise this is a great lens overall so who is this lens for well basically if you are someone who owns already an APS-C sony cameras which is the a6000 series and the zve10 and also if you are looking to upgrade your kit lens or just plainly looking for a great quality zoom lens to start with and also if you like to travel light and if you don't want to change your lens every time then you're going to love this lens so if you want to check this lens out I'll put the link down in the description below and if you end up buying this lens using my direct link it will give me a small commission it will not cost you any penny more but it will help me and my channel to grow all right, so that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you're still here, I appreciate you sticking around. And I hope you like this video or find it useful. Please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that bell icon so that you won't miss any of my video. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao! Tag your friends. Like and subscribe. Comment below. If I make this follow, don't let this flop, wait till the end, like for part two, I'm going viral, I'm going viral.